I know that we have only very few minutes left. And there are so many other interesting questions to discover. So I, I think it's, I will allow myself to give you, uh, to come up with a suggestion. If we had more time, I would not have done that. I would simply tell you, well, just investigate what, what you find interesting. Uh, but at this point, I might, I try to generalize what we, what we've done so far. Now, in general, how can we draw a tilted square? I start with this corner here. This is a corner. And imagine that I want to find another corner. How do we find another corner of a tilted square? Uh, let's go up because there is no much room here. So, uh, now we're trying, we all are trying to investigate this thing. We want to go certain number of, of, of squares over and certain up, right? Well, if I go, let's say, B squares over, is it okay to use letters? B can be 1, 2, 3, 45, whatever. Now, we are not in 7 by 7 anymore. We are just on grid paper, and it's infinite grid paper. So, we go B, B squares to the right, and we go A squares up. And this will be our next corner. Everybody with me? Now, I want to go that way to, to draw the, another, uh, another corner, to find another corner. So, from this point, what should I do? B up. Now, B up and A to the left. Then we would have this perpendicular, right? Okay, looks perpendicular to me. Do you agree? Okay, this is another corner. So now we have two edges. We started with this edge, and now we constructed another edge. Now, what should we do to get to the third corner? We go, uh, so this is A. Now we go B to the right. To, I beg your pardon, to the left. And A down. We go A down to here. And we have this corner. And now we're done, right? We have this tilted square. Everybody agrees? Yeah. So every tilted square can be described like that. Now what is its, what is its area? And we can use this great idea that, now who, who described that idea to us? Glenn? Glenn said, Look at the outside regular square, this outside regular square. What is the area of this square? A plus B times A plus B, or A plus B is squared, right? Everybody agrees? And now... Uh, what he did, what Glenn did, he said that this triangle that we're leaving out is half of the... Yes, it's half of this rectangle, right? And what area is this rectangle? AB, right? But it's half of that. So, the, this triangle that we're leaving out has the area of A times B over 2, right? But we, we subtract 4 of them. So it's minus 4 times that. Okay, now, people who are in the mood of doing algebra, can you do this little algebra and tell me what's the answer? Now, I want everyone to be together. So, I heard some words. I heard A. Well, just do it. Do that. 
please, please, even if you are a teacher in a, of, of pre-algebra or below pre-algebra, do it, please. Now, if you are not in the mood of doing it with numbers, with letters, try to do it at least with numbers, some representative numbers, if you feel like doing that with numbers instead. But I really want you to really write it and get the answer for me. So remember, this was the question. The question is, what are possible areas of squares and the grid? What is an answer from this? A squared plus B squared for some integers, A and B, right? And one of them can be zero. If one of them is zero, what does this mean? That we have a regular one. So only A squared plus B squared. What? Your son has to be less than seven for going back. No, no, well, uh, I already mentioned that. I'm sorry. I, I lost someone. Tina, I lost you. Uh, we, this is a more interesting question. In general, if we, we are on an on, on a, you know, infinite grid, infinite, not even our piece of paper, but infinite grid, what are all possible areas? Well, they all must be of the form a squared plus b squared. There is no way out of that. 